y'all love biscuit here um sorry if i sound funny i actually just got up it is like 8 30 ish in the morning and uh, my daughter got me up and i was like you know what? i'm gonna do this i started to do it last night i was making my silvari uh, elementalist love biscuit like I've told you before in previous videos along with all my blog and all that fun stuff sad part is I got in well number one I was freaking tired so I was you know not really talkative kind of quiet and when I got into the Silvari world let me just tell you guys Silvari freaking overload I couldn't do it I felt like I was like surrounded by people and I'm kind of claustrophobic and I really don't like people so it, it like really had my anxiety going I mean yeah I was really excited about the game coming out but that was not why I was so you know yeah I don't know there was just too many people like everybody was throwing spells everywhere and I felt like every time I took like two steps forward with my character I was I was like there was somebody there and so I decided that along with the fact that a lot of you um, are waiting to play the Silvari and you guys don't have the head start but you guys watch my videos it might be better for me to go ahead with a human which is stuff that you guys have seen before but I'll be able to get further than a lot of the videos you guys have seen along with the ones that I already have and I was thinking Norn or human because those are the two that um, they've had so much hype already that they aren't rolled as often yeah they're rolled a lot there are still a shit ton of humans and norns but um for this case i actually was thinking i'd just go with human because it's what you guys have seen before and i don't know that way maybe you guys will enjoy my videos a little more and that way you can watch them before you actually get in game because a lot of you are going to be rolling silvari azura char and norns are freaking awesome i mean you can shape shift shift shape shift shape shift and humans you're just a human eh. I don't know. But anyway, so we're actually going to go with a human elementalist. I wanted to stick with elementalist because, I don't know, I'm just really into burning people. Pixelated ones, of course. Um, but we're going to have her be an elementalist. But look how fancy that outfit is. I don't even like it. It's, I don't know, holes in the butt? Really? Look at that. She's got undies and I don't even know. But anyway, <laughs> I just want to burn people. So, elementalists have harnessed Tyria's natural forces. Their powers of destruction are drawn from affinity with the four elements that make up the world. They conjure air, fire, earth, or water to assault their enemies. Elementalists wear light armor. Well, that's good to know. And I want her to be short because I'm short. And as you guys will see, most of my characters that I, I create um, are going to be short. So we're going to go ahead and pop off her armor here and check out the different ones. I don't really want my girl being all like muscular and junk. See the bottom? Yeah, the bottom row are all kind of, they're kind of muscular. And I am, I guess they're not all. This one's really not. But, um, I am not a muscular gal. I work out a little bit, but I am not very muscular. Whoa. Which one of these do I like? I guess that one. Boom! Boobs! Man, my boobs aren't that big. My boobs aren't that big either. That doesn't really matter, I guess, boob-wise, eh? Okay. I want her to have an hourglass figure. She's a hottie. I don't know. That's not even really hourglass either. She has smaller boobs. I guess I could work with that. <laughs> I don't know. Boom! Yeah, we're going with that one. Oh, yeah. I want to shake her, um color. Wow, that is like white. Wow. What other op options do we have here? Black. Oh my gosh, that is dark. Um, pale. Kind of like pale. Wish that you could like... Oh, you can. There we go. Okay, because I kind of want to see the color. Up close. Pale too. Oh, a little pinker. I kind of like that. I like that. I don't know why I like pinker colors. I don't like, like that. Bam. That's kind of cute. What is that one? Light three. And what was the other one that I liked? Pale two? Hmm. Kind of like pale two. She is going to be pale two. Yee you. Okay. So now what we're going to do here is... We're going to do her face, I guess. Hmm. I kind of like the lips on that one. That one's kind of cool. 
I guess. Big give her bigger eyes though. <laughs> I don't wanna be an old lady. I also don't wanna be goth. with this one. I'm gonna change your eyes, make them a little opener though. Opener. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these hair hairdos. Wow, I can go pink. White. That's white. Warm gray. <laughs> Blacks and blonde. I usually go with like a Go with like a mousy brown color because I'm kind of honestly, guys, it's sort of my hair color. Ooh, cocoa. That just sounds fun. Okay, well, let's check out these hairdos. Hmm. Orchid. Royal Rose. Oh, that's pretty. You guys, I like pink. Get over it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, pigtails. That one's kind of cute. A lot of these are cute. I like them. I don't like that one so much. Let's try the braid for a minute. Let's see how it looks with her. I want to change the color. It might look better. Okay. Base details. Eye angle. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna stay in the middle there. Iris size. I like them. Bigger. Okay. Eye size height. I don't want her to look like all crazy eyes. Oh my god. Okay. They're kind of way big, aren't they? Yeah, a little big? I don't know, man. That's huge. Okay. I don't know. I just wanted them a little bigger. I guess that works. Nose! How big does it get? Man. I don't want it that point. In there, maybe. Okay. Bridge steps. Wait. With that bridge. Ha 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 ha. A little more of a contour on her nose. Okay. Oh, I can leave that alone. There we go, that was the bridge. Blam. I will go in between you. That looks good. Nice little even slope there. Okay. Mouth. I really like fuller lips, don't make fun of me, but I do like fuller lips here. Not too full that she looks all crazy. I think her lips look kind of good the way they were, so maybe just a little fuller there. Just over the top. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, that's good. Chin length, blam, blam. A little lower. Width. Right in there. Lower cheeks. Oh, we'll leave it in the middle. Cheeks. Ooh. I don't want to in too much, but yeah, a little heart shaped face, head size. Leave it the same. Head width. Blame, blame. Leave that in the middle. <laughs> now let's dye this armor. You guys that have seen my videos know perfectly well that I do love a good pinkish purple gray goodness. I don't know. I'm weird. Hmm. Royal. Hmm. Normally I go the other way around, but that looks kind of nice. Alright, let's see. Put this up. Right here. Oh. 
Oh, rose. Rose. Huh, that looks kind of cool. Alright. And royal rose. I kind of like that. I don't care if you guys do or not. Blame. That's how she looks in the nighttime. That's why we have to be quiet. Alright. Let's see. Do I really like that hair? I don't think I want that though. That's just way too much. But I think I want longer hair. Ooh, that doesn't look good when it goes through the hair. Kind of like the side swept bang look. It makes it look so cute, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Let's go through them again. I'm like being so picky here. I love this hair, but I'm actually planning that for my ranger, so I don't want to gank it now. <laughs> I don't want my characters to look exactly the same or anything. Hmm, I kind of like this braided look though, but this one's cute. It kind of gives her that, you know, cool looking hair do. But you know, I was actually thinking of having her grow up on the streets, so... Don't want her to have, like, too fanciful hair, right? I don't know, that's almost too fancy. Well, not really. I mean, when you're on the streets, you can sit around and learn how to braid your hair, I guess. Uh... Maybe I'll have her be a noble instead. I'll do this one. I kinda like this hair, too. We're gonna do this one. Alright, change of plans! We're changing our plans. <laughs> this looks too noble to be on the streets. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe she'll still be on the streets. All right. I study all the elements, but I wear a gem that symbolizes my love of water. Water, whether frozen or flowing, is life, and its current runs deep in us. Fire. Fire's hunger, its destructive burn, demands respect. It immolates and clears the path for new growth. And then we have earth. Earth is the foundation that supports all life. Stone fortifies us. Rock grounds us. Hm. And then air. Air is the source of all life. It is invisible, and yet it can destroy whole villages. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. That's almost like, like if you look at it, it almost looks kind of pinkish, like up on her hair. Red. It still looks brownish. Red. And ooh, almost purple. I think we're gonna go with air. Air is the source of life. It is invisible, and yet it can destroy whole villages. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Trouble may follow me, but I use my... We're going to go with charm. I'm charming. No one can resist me when I'm at my best. I know just what to say to lighten the mood or bolster courage. Then, of course, there's dignity. I'm dignified even when up to my ears in mud. It's what makes people respect me. A serious, thoughtful demeanor is the route to success. And then we have ferocity. I'm ferocious, threatening, violence gets me further than anything else. I'm a natural, though I do try to use my powers of intimidation for good. But we are going charming, as I said before. Alright, I was raised, let's see, street rat. I grew up poor on the streets, living hand to mouth. Every day was a challenge, but like I tell my old buddy Quinn, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. I've worked hard to change my luck, but I've still got a long way to go. And then we have commoner. I was raised among the common folk of Divinity's Reach. We're the working class, the cogs that keep the city running. I help out a tavern owned by my friends Andrew and his daughter Petra. And then, of course, we have nobility. I grew up against the nobles, including my friend Lord Farron, who can trace their ancestors back to ancient kings. I receive an excellent education and am well-versed in courtly graces and understand the responsibilities that comes with privilege. I don't know. Does she look like she's among the nobles or in the streets? Blam, blam. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. I Street. Noble. Street. Noble. Maybe with that hairdo she looks noble, but then again, maybe she just has naturally beautiful hair, because for some reason I like Quinn, and like, the betas and stuff that I've done, I like Quinn. So I think I'm gonna go with, um, Street Rat. 
All right, one of my biggest regrets is that unknown parents. Let's see, when I was an infant, I was abandoned at an orphanage. A kind couple adopted me and became my family. However, I've always wondered about my birth parents. And then we have dead sister. My sister was a seraph. Centaurs killed her while she was out on patrol. They never recovered her body and has always bothered me. Missed opportunity. When I was young, I had the opportunity to perform in the circus, but I turned it down. To this day, I'm sorry I didn't leap at the chance. You know what? We're going to go with that one. We are going to go with missed opportunity. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't perform for the circus. Okay. Everyone said I was blessed by... We have Duena. Duena, the goddess of healing, air, and life, is the even-tempered leader of the old gods. She's often depicted as young, tall, and slender, rising into the air in immense feathery wings. Wow. Grenth. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Grenth is the god of darkness, ice, and death. His acolytes know that the veil between worlds is thin. Death does not frighten me. Even the darkest nights give me comfort because Gwyneth watches over me. <laughs> Balthazar! <laughs> I just like saying that. Balthazar, the god of war, fire, and challenge, oversees the battle arena. His gifts, those who have a knack for combat strategy and skill with weapons. I have trained hard to honor Balthazar. Melendru? I don't know. That's how you pronounce it. But anyways, Melendra. Melendru. Melendra. Maybe it's Melendra. Mm. The goddess of nature, earth, and growth can be found in every harvest and every flower. She smiles upon those like me who have an affinity with animals. I'm a follower of Melendra. All right, then we have Lissa. Or Liza? Who knows? Lissa wears many masks. She's the dual-faced goddess of beauty, water, and illusion. She's the patron of the most attractive and graceful among us. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Her blessings have touched me all my life. And then we have Cormare. Cormare is the goddess of order, spirit, and truth. She was once mortal like me. She inspires me every day to find greater courage and to seek rightness of heart, mind, and action. Um... Um... I kind of like this one... Uh, but I think I'm going to go with Duena. I don't know why, but anyways. Okay, so Duena, the goddess of healing, blessed me when I was young. Though trouble may follow me, I overcome it with charm. My people are dirt poor, and I've struggled all my life. I've made something of myself, and the only thing I regret is that I turned down a chance to perform in the circus. I'm an elementalist, and I study all the elements. I wear a gem that symbolizes my love of air. This is my story. Love biscuit. All right, guys, let's watch this cutscene, yeah? I'm excited. The human race once ruled Tyria. Now, we struggle to hold our ground. We've been defeated, driven back, and broken. But we will not surrender. So many nations have fallen. Only Krita still stands. Our faith is strong, despite the silence of the six gods. With courage, we'll make our stand in divinity's reach. The city is my home. I grew up on the streets. Although I have friends, my life has always been hard. I faced the worst this city could throw at me, and I sent it home bleeding. I'm done living hand to mouth. There's a war on our doorstep, and I refuse to be buried by it. Today, I stepped outside Divinity's Reach, hoping to find better luck outside the city. Problem is, when I arrived in Shamor, the village was under attack by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. I can take care of myself, but that's not enough anymore. Someone has to help those who can't. This is my story. You know, she has got to be kind of cold in the rain and the wet with this outfit. But anyways, guys, that was creation. If you guys want to see the first quest, check out my next video. 
I am Love Biscuit, and I'll see you guys soon.